AITA for telling my mill I won't go out of my way to tell her about grandchildren's activities unless she apologizes to her son. I'm 38F, still in shock. It's been days since my partner's 38 male parents came over. It started six months ago on his birthday when his parents called him to tell him what a wonderful time they had at his ex-wife's house with her family celebrating their grandkids' birthday and how they can't wait to go again. We had our own very large party plan for his kids. Invitations were sent to his entire family. We had recently asked that they do not communicate with his ex-wife, because she has made parenting extremely challenging. She has stopped us from getting medically necessary treatment for his daughter and has taken us to court over nearly everything. On top of this, when I first met his parents, all they did was talk about how much they hate the ex-wife and always have. My partner and I are in tons of therapy, childhood trauma. Our goal is for everyone to get along and do what's best for the kids. We have no ill will towards the ex-wife, but we've had to place major boundaries for a ton of reason. The disrespect and disregard for what my partner asked of his parents made him physically ill on his birthday. They had given us no warning when they had previously said that they understand our situation and would respect his request. We can only speculate that they were invited to the party because of the boundaries we have personally set with her. In previous years, they did not attend because they were not invited except when the two were married. When they were over the other night, Mill brought up the incident. She made it clear that she's only interested in her bio-grandchildren and that it is easier for her to interact with them through the ex-wife. She would rather become friends with the ex-wife, than attempt a relationship with me, or her own son. We listened to all of her desires, communicated that we could give her ample opportunities to spend with the grandchildren, including opportunities at their school. Told her that she was more than welcome to stay with us during the week, they live two hours away, and participate as a chaperone or a plethora of other activities with the kids. Mind you, they don't bother coming to sporting events, they honestly don't put in hardly any effort at all to see the grandkids. We invite them often and they decline. She seemed pleased with all of it. We were pleased, because ideally, they would want to have a relationship with all of us. I told her it's challenging for me to put in the extra energy and effort to inform them of every opportunity when I feel she still hasn't acknowledged the hurt she did to her son. He even stepped in and said how he cried, and he is not a crier, and said it sucked. Her response was, you well life sucks. I asked her if she understood that all we were asking was that she acknowledged that she hurt him and that an apology was all it took for her to have that relationship opportunity she is seeking. We haven't talked since.